So previously we've been focusing on absolute file paths. The entire idea again is that they are the absolute location in memory for a particular file. But you can see that that may be somewhat of a problem. Uh, you know, you don't want to have an Atom directory inside of your computer. You may not want to have a CSE 111 directory. You should, but you know, you may not have one, uh, and you don't want to make one. That's your choice. I can't make you do anything. You know, I can't jump through the camera. But uh, maybe in that case, we want to deal with something known as a relative file reference. The entire idea here is. Python is able to uh, say, well, you know, when I run my programs, I'm doing it from a particular directory. And as a result, I can uh, sort of remove some of the absoluteness from there. I don't need to know what directory I'm in uh, so long as I know where, what things are around me, uh, so to speak. So an example of this, if we say, for example, again, are looking at our directory. I've got the temp file that we're working off of, but I also still have that hello.txt. Now, again, we were focusing on the absolute file path, but since hello is in the same directory as uh, my file, what I'm able actually to do here is I can come in and remove all of that stuff uh, in front of it. Because again, Python is running from that same directory and it says, oh, well, you know, let me just look around uh, myself for a second. Oh, I see a hello.txt file. That must be what you're referring to. And so if I take this, and I did forgot, uh, forget to add just a little bit. We also want to make sure that if we're opening a file, uh, we are closing it as well. That'll be something that'll uh, be very important later on. So I've opened, read, and closed. And so when I run this, hello world has been uh, taken care of. Now where the problems typically uh, start to stem from uh, you know, people learning about file paths is what happens if hello, you know, my hello txt, my file that I'm trying to reference is not in the same directory as my Python file. So let's say for example, I came in here and I knew, made a folder called data. Right, and inside of that folder, I'm gonna go ahead and make another file that we're gonna just go ahead and call uh, hello as well. So I've got two files. In this case, I have another file, hello as well, hello again. So I've got another file that I wanna gain access to. Now, I am not able to just reference uh, hello as well .txt from my program, right? If I come in here and try to say, oh, well, the file is now hello as well, save this, run it, Python's going to freak out. It's giving a nice little error over here saying that it doesn't know what that file is. Again, this is the idea of relative file referencing. So instead, what I'm able to say is, well, again, my temp.py file, right, is inside this directory right here. And the directory that I'm in has another directory called data. It has another folder called data. So I can come in here and say data slash hello as well, because that is a, a file path relative to where I am in my, my program. So now if I take this and run it, hello again. The other option though is what happens if, I typically refer to it as, uh, what if uh, the file I'm trying to access is above me? And this is where the head, you know, the headaches start to uh, occur. Let's say for example, this time, uh, I'm working off of my, let me close out of that. Let's say my temp.py file is in its own directory, okay? So it is inside of, uh, We'll call it core. And I'm going to take that, move it into core. So now it's in its own separate uh, directory. And there's no hello file for it. And there is no hello. There is no hello as well file. Those are in two separate directories that I have to deal with, right? So in that case, I come in and let me reopen spider. There we go. 
We're just going to wait for a second. You can skip if you hit the arrow or like the L key on your keyboard and it will do that. Okay, so right now again, um, some things are happening. You're not seeing the same temp because uh, Python couldn't find uh, the old file, so it's freaking out. So I do have to uh, just come in, open that up really quickly. So we put it in core. There. So there's that file. Again, uh, I am attempting to reference, say, for example, oh, well, you know, I had that data file I wanted to work with. Well, I can't. And I'll just even start with the hello file to start. Again, I attempt to read through this. Doesn't exist. You see giant errors going on there. Again, it's because the directory my file is in looks around itself and says, I don't, I don't see a hello.txt file. Now, one of the things that you uh, see a few times, uh, just to kind of show it off uh, for a second, if we're looking at sort of a, uh, a browser or a, a command prompt for a second, whenever I do, say for example, dir, this is a way to show the listing of uh, all the different uh, files in a particular, particularly, particular directory, there's the word, and I will at least uh, jump to uh, my particular uh, folder, dir, you're going to see a few different things. Specifically, you see uh, one dot and two dots. Those are always going to appear, and this is for Macs or Windows. You always see these. Now, what those are typically meant to do is in sort of Windows and in the computer world, uh, that single dot is saying, that's my directory. That's my current directory. And the dot dot is its way of saying, oh, well, that's referring to directories above me. So you can kind of see that's why there's a DIR beside them. It's like, oh, well, that's the directory above me. And uh, this is the dot ahead of me or at my uh, current location. So what that means, again, if I'm attempting, if I'm in core, core, so CD core, what that means is if I wanted to access that hello.txt file, right, just to see that outside of Python, I'd need to go dot dot slash, and that's saying go up a directory, look up a directory. You can see that's exactly the case. That same approach can happen inside of Python. So I come in dot dot slash, it sees it, go up. Now, what that means is if we think about that for a second, I'm going up from the core directory. So now I'm above, I'm in this current directory when I'm, I'm starting to look for things. Now, I, I was able to see hello.txt, but there's also a, another directory in there called data, and that's where we house the hello as well file. Well, guess what? That means I can sort of go up a directory see a directory and go down that directory instead. So data slash hello, and the file was called as well. And so I go up the directory, I see the data directory, I go down that directory, I see hello as well, I open that file, hello again.